I got five reasons why the Knicks should trade for Ben Simmons and one reason why it might break everything. Coming up next on Riding with the Knicks. Boom. Intro. Welcome to Riding with the Knicks. My name is Greg. If you're here for the first time, welcome. The sun is killing me today, but we don't get a lot of sunny days in Ohio. I was born and raised in New York. Now I live in Ohio, been living in Ohio for 10 years. I love the Knicks, but nobody wants to talk about the Knicks with me, so I started this YouTube channel. Uh, here we go. I got five reasons, five reasons why the Knicks should trade for Ben Simmons. Not a very popular opinion right now, but here they, here, here they are. Number one, this guy's a point guard. We've got trouble with the point guard um, spot. He's a big point guard. We need a point guard. We don't need more whatever else. We need a point guard. So number one, clear reason, he's a point guard, a good one, and we need him. Number two, this guy is a defensive-minded player. He could be the defensive player of the year. Uh, probably not this season because he hasn't seen the court, but this is a guy who's that caliber, that quality of defender. So you pair him with a defensive-minded coach, you got to work with the system you got. You got to work with the, with, the, with the personnel you have. And in, in Tibbs, I think he could turn this guy into an even better defender. I think he could make him the defensive player of the year for the first full season if he ever came to the Knicks. So number one, he's a point guard. Number two, he's a defensive-minded player that Tibbs could turn into an elite, elite defender. Number three, he is already an elite passer with elite court vision. We have seen way too many possessions on the Knicks where the ball gets stuck in someone's hand. This is like, not it's not Lonzo Ball. Ben Simmons isn't Lonzo Ball, but he's got that type of, of ability to sling the rock. You've got those no-look passes to someone under the basket. He's, he can kick it out to people anywhere on the court, anywhere behind the three-point line. This guy is an elite passer with elite court vision. We're going to see some high assist numbers for the Knicks for the first time, and I can I don't even know if I can remember how long, how long ago since it's been somebody who is just tacking up the assists. And so number one, point guard. Number two, a point guard who can play defense. Number three, a point guard who gives effort on the defensive end and has, has elite court vision. Number four, the fourth reason why I think the Knicks should trade for Ben Simmons is this will give us, assuming that, that Randall is no longer on the start, in the lineup. Whoa, this thing's shaking. All right, we good. This is riding with the Knicks. We drive in the car to work and we talk about the team that we love, the New York Knicks. And so sometimes we get a little shake on the camera. It's all good. It's all part of the ambiance. It's all part of the part of the brand here at riding with the Knicks. Um, but part the reason number four, we're assuming that that Randall's getting moved in this deal. I think they need a three team deal to get this, get this thing going. So whatever, let's get up on the details later. But I'm assuming Randall is not on the team anymore when we move, if we were to move him for Simmons, uh, which means all of a sudden Obi Toppin can get inserted into that starting lineup and Kevin Knox can move into, get him some more minutes off the bench. Um, and I think that that would be a good thing for the Knicks. Obi can stroke it from three. And if he's given more opportunities, more reps, if he's found in, a, in that corner, those corner threes, if he's found by an elite passer um, who can penetrate, get to the rack and then pick it out, then I think that um, you're going to see his numbers going up. And then with more playing time, you're going to see his numbers going up. With the passing ability of Ben Simmons, and you've got the, the, the speed and the, the transition ability of, of Obi Toppin, we're going to see some highlight reel type dunks, type open court action um, from a Ben Simmons Obi Toppin connection. Um, here's an extra little one. This ain't even five yet, but Ben Simmons' age is better for what the Knicks are doing right now, too. But let's take, take that off the table. The last one, five. So we've got, he's a, he's a point guard. Um, who's a strong defensive player with elite court vision, and it provides more playing time for our guys who, who, who deserve it. Kevin Knox killed it from three-point. He's only 22 years old. People want to give up on this kid. And Obi Toppin could get right in there, which would be great for our team. Number five, the last reason, is it gives the Knicks a true rival. It gives us a modern rival. Could you imagine Ben Simmons being on our team? And Randall, maybe he wouldn't be on the Sixers. Maybe he'd be somewhere else. Maybe he'd be on the Sixers. But let's just say for this example, he's on the Sixers. And we get to go into Philly, and Ben Simmons is playing for the first time of the year, and he's playing for a different team, and he's on their court. Could you imagine the hate, the vitriol? Could you imagine the heat on that game? Um, it would be amazing. 
And then if he if he lights it up, could you imagine if he shoots and hits a three? And that, that fan base would just be so irate because he never let one fly for them, really. Um, man, it would give the Knicks a modern rival. And if you think about it, the Hawks beat the Sixers in the playoffs last year, and they had no business doing that. And so there would be like kind of a Hawks, Knicks, Sixers type of rivalry going on right there, which would be great. For, it would be great for storylines. It'd be great uh, for, for everything. Um, so those are the five reasons I think the Knicks should trade for Ben Simmons. Uh, but I told you I'd give you one why they, they might break everything. Uh, and this is the reason why I think I'm even hesitant about it. And I've heard a lot of other people be hesitant about this potential trade. The dude appears soft. The dude appears soft. He, he, he's like offended in his feelings, holding out, not wanting to play. Maybe he knows his value and maybe he wants to, he, he's exercising that, 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 that self-determination that all of us, I think, at some level um, aspire to have. Some kind of, I know my worth. A lot of times in this world, like we, we let other things dictate our worth. We let other people tell us what we're worth. We let situations tell us what we're worth. We let our history and how we were raised and, and the pain and, and, the, and the suffering and the wounds that we incurred at a younger age, we let that determine, hey, we're actually not, not worth it. Our voice isn't valuable. And so I think at a deep level, some of us, even if you don't like the dude, if you don't like how he's going about it, you have to respect the fact that he's saying, no, 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 I know my value and I'm not going to play and people could hate and people could do whatever, but I'm not going to play because I, I want to be in control here. I have some respect for that. And if that's the thing that's, that, that's driving him right now, I think he'll thrive in New York. I really do. Um, but if he's just soft and he's in his feelings and he's hurt feelings because like the coach said it was his fault that they lost the playoff series or, you know, people are upset at him and he's sad because hey, I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot jumpers. If it's that, it, it could break everything. If he can't stand the heat of being in New York City, it'll break everything. And so, you know, if you could make it there, you could make it anywhere. Um, but I don't think that that's a good enough reason to not trade for Ben Simmons. I, I honestly, if, if I'm if I'm in the driver's seat, I say you do it. I say you move Randall, you bring in Simmons, and uh, you live with the results. But I'd love to hear from you. What do you think about Randall for Simmons? Obviously, it'll have some other people involved in the trade. Also, if, if Simmons was on the Knicks today, what do you think the starting lineup should be? What would the starting five be, um, assuming that Simmons is in it and Randall's out? Thanks so much for taking time to watch this video. Again, if you're here for the first time, uh, let me know what you think about it. Um, drop a like if you want to show some love. And of course, I'd love for you to subscribe. Videos like this come out all the time, multiple times a day. I mean, multiple times a week. And uh, always like this, driving, talk about the Knicks, pulling out some deeper themes. If you're someone who's struggling to find your own voice right now, I want you to know that tomorrow can be better than today. It always can get better. It doesn't just happen though. You gotta make some decisions to stop engaging with the things that are causing that pain, to turn from those things, and to um, to engage with things that are uplifting, that are encouraging, that are that are life giving. Um, your voice is worth it. If you're listening to this, your voice is worth it, and you deserve that. So uh, let's go out there. Let's be the best version of ourselves. Uh, go next.